Hello friends! Today you'll see how actors of the film Back to the Future 1 and 2 have changed. You'll know their original names and age. I will show you how they looked then, in 1985 and 1999, and what's with them now, in 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Christopher Lloyd is a distinguished actor, winner of several Emmy Awards, who has appeared in more than 200 films. He played roles in the Yale Theatre alongside Meryl Streep. His most stellar and brightest work was the role of Dr. Emmett Brown at Back to the Future. Thomas F. Wilson is an amazing artist who was able to show his talent in many areas of art. He started his career with the TV series Knight Rider from the NBC studio, but became famous for his trilogy Back to the Future where he appeared as big guy Beef Cannon. Maya Burton peaked in popularity in the late 80s and early 90s. Fame came to her after the film's Nanny Adventures and Back to the Future 1985, where she appeared in the role of Sally Baines, Lorraine's younger sister. She's the winner of the Young Artist Prize. Jason Hervey began his career at the age of four. He starred in over 250 commercials, took part in famous TV shows and appeared in the films Back to the Future as Milton Baines, Police Academy 2 and others. His projects have been nominated for many Emmy Awards. Billy Zane began his film career with Back to the Future, in which he appeared as Match, one of Tennant's thugs. During his acting career, he received a Category B award from Bloodbuster Entertainment and Best of the Year and has four nominations, including one for the CFCA. Letters from Frank was the first Hollywood movie featuring Michael J. Fox. He has received numerous awards from the Screen Actors Guild of America, as well as Golden Globe and Emmy Awards. And he gained worldwide fame thanks to the role of Marty McFly in Back to the Future. Harry Walters Jr. became known as an actor in the film Death Warrant and in the adventure fantasy film Back to the Future, where he appeared as Marvin Berry, a guitarist, one of the members of the musical band. He starred in more than 30 films, series and TV programs. Kristen Glover is an atypical and intriguing actor. Significant filming for him was in the movie Back to the Future, George McFly. He has received three awards and has been nominated for the Saturn Award several times, as well as being nominated for the Chainsaw Award. Wendy Jo Sperber began her career as an actress in the 70s. She liked to play comedy characters for which she became famous, some of the works that brought her popularity, Bachelor Party and several parts of Back to the Future, the role of Linda McFly. Frances Lee McCain is best known for her roles in the films Anxiety, Gremlins and Back to the Future. There she played the role of Stella Baines, Marty McFly's grandmother. In films from the 80s and 90s, she ported teenage mothers playing the main role. Donald Tullilo gained popularity in the next three days, 2010, and in the adventure film Back to the Future, 1985, where he appeared as Goldie Wilson, a cafe cleaner. He is also known for his work in the cartoon Op and Kung Fu Panda, Secrets of the Masters. Casey Samasco is an actor with a versatile act. During his career, he took part in the voice acting of the game GTA San Andreas and also became best known for his filming in the western Young Arrows and his role as 3D in several parts of Back to the Future. Mark McClure is best known for filming Superman, but he also gained popularity for the role of Dave McFly, Marty's brother in the movie Back to the Future. In total, he took part in 100 projects, and he is the only one who appeared in all parts of Superman. George DiCenzo gained popularity after filming Close Encounters of the Third Kind. He is also best known for his role as Sam Baines in the science fiction film Back to the Future, 1985. George also contributed to the series The New Mysterious of Scooby-Doo and Spider-Man. 
Jeffrey J. Cohen has starred in 23 films in total, but gained his fame through the participation in the film Almost Famous and in several parts of the popular science fiction film Back to the Future, where he appeared as a skinhead, one of the gang members. Norman Alden is an outstanding actor who discovered his talent while studying at the university. During his film career, Alden managed to take part in over 250 projects, one of which was the filming of the famous film Back to the Future. He played the role of Lou. James Tolkien is known of the page as characters with a strong character. So in his work, the roles of harsh policemen or brutal criminals predominate. He has starred in over 50 films, including Back to the Future, in which he portrays Mr. Strickland, the headmaster. Claudia Wells is best known for her appearances in Double Visions, Citizen Brown and Back to the Future, which appeared in 1985, in which she played McFly's friend Jennifer Parker. She won the Michael Landon Award and was nominated for the Young Artist Award. Leah Thompson, after her role as Lorraine Baines in Back to the Future, became popular and made a significant career break. In total, she took part in more than 200 works, TV shows and films. She has received five awards and has been nominated for awards six times. Jeffrey Weissman, best known for playing Conway in The Pale Horseman, and as George McFly, Marty's father in the second part of the adventure film Back to the Future on account of his participation in more than 80 television series, films, and programs. Ricky Dean Logan has starred in 49 films. He became popular for his role as Data in the movie Back to the Future 2 and also made him famous by filming Dead Freddy, The Last Nightmare, recipient of 11 different awards and nominations for the Bonehead Award. Jason Scott Lee has starred in 43 films, mostly playing supporting roles. One of these works is the film Back to the Future 2, Whitey. He played the main roles in the films The Jungle Book and Dragon, was nominated for CFTA, DVDX and TV Movie Awards. Elijah Wood began showing his acting talent at an early age. He became famous for his participation in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but his first breakthrough was the role of the Game Boy in the Back to the Future 2, received over 25 awards and 40 nominations. Charles Fletcher is best known for his performances in The Nightmare on Elm Street and Who Framed Roger Rabbit, released in 1988, where he spoke in Roger's voice but he can also be seen in the second part of the sci-fi movie Back to the Future as Terry. A turning point in Elizabeth Shue's career was the shooting of Living Las Vegas, for which she was nominated for an Oscar. She also starred in Back to the Future 2 as Jennifer. Shue has received eight awards including ACCA, TFCA award and DFWFCA and received 13 nominations. Darling Wojo became famous for her acting career in the films Policemen on Bicycles, Tiger Tales, and the role in the second part of the movie Back to the Future. In it, she can be recognized by her role as Spike. She also starred in the TV series House Doctor. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.